Hey Capricorn, this is Star. Thanks for being here. Let's see what your messages are today. All right. So as I, as I was shuffling the cards, I was feeling like, um, I don't know, like a bit of a power struggle between you and someone. But let's see what comes out here in the cards. All right, we have light. Release. community. Okay, let me put these cards over here for now. All right, Capricorn. Let's take a look. First card. Well, look at you. We have the King of Pentacles. Hmm. Hmm. A little bit of stress, but you feel like you have everything under control. So it, this may be like energy around you, people around you, or, you know, stressful situations around you. But as long as you have the wheel, everything's under control. All right, the challenge is the Seven of Swords in reverse. The star. Interesting. We have the Queen of Pentacles now here. The Moon. yourself is the high priestess chariot at the bottom hmm I don't quite like that okay so the energy around you is that magician in reverse the reason I don't like it is because uh, the fact that the challenge is the Seven of Swords in reverse, and so I'm kind of tying this to that, which tells me that there is somebody around you who is quite deceptive. And then we have that moon, which again can be about deception. You see yourself as the High Priestess, so... You might be playing stupid right now. You might know a lot more than you're letting on. So you may be letting this person think that you don't know <laughs> what they're up to when you know exactly. You just want to see how far they go, perhaps. Hmm. your advice. Your advice is the Two of Cups. Empress. 
this at the bottom. And the overall outcome. Okay, the Four of Wands reverse. Hmm. Okay. Let me just see one thing here. One second. All right, guys, one second. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I, I wanted to make sure because I couldn't remember what uh, this corresponded to in the major arcana, but it's the sun. I, sh I should have I should have known that, but. So that kind of makes sense. So some something actually coming to light about people close to you in the community that may make you release. Hmm. So I feel like you have been with someone who, um, I want to say they were mimicking you, or they, they were trying to make you think that they had the same aspirations as you, they had the same morals, um, I'm not convinced though that they had necessarily like ill intent, I just feel like they wanted to be with you and let's look further into it i i just i'm i don't i'm not convinced that this this is sinister you know it, it just it just may have been disappointing for you let's see have the King of Swords in reverse. And there's that Queen. Yeah, definitely. I'm kind of getting more so this is um, somebody who was trying to portray themselves as having more than they actually did so so maybe um, having more money more status uh, when in reality they they weren't they weren't that well off or uh, making big promises that they they really had no no way of, of fulfilling let me see one more mm, eight of pentacles in reverse i, I I feel like this is money related. Or uh, or this could have been uh, someone who ultimately ended up being more um, codependent on you than you expected. Like you expected this person to be more so a provider and they they ended up leaning on you rather than providing. And that was surprising to you. So the way that they came across when you met them you thought that they were going to be more of a giver and then as time went on it was more take 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 and it, it happened slowly 
and before you knew it, you, you, it was too late. It, you know, you were too far into it, and, and you, you know, you woke up one day and you're like, "What the hell? How did I end up paying all these bills? You know, weren't weren't you gonna provide?" <laughs> Seven of Swords. Hmm. Mm -mm. King of Cups, reverse. Oh my goodness. Oh. The more I see this, the less I like this person, I have to say. King of Wands, reverse. Lovers, reverse. Hierophant, reverse. There's a lot of, so if this is a man, if you're a woman dealing with a man, I do feel like this person is a womanizer. I, I, I feel like this person has um, commitment issues, um, avoidant attachment style. You may have already caught this person cheating, or you know of history, you've heard of history that they have of cheating. There's something that was found out. Hmm. What's the star? Seven of Swords reverse. You're healing from something that you have found out about the Empress. This could be a mistress. Death in reverse. So this relationship, it's it, it's not over. You don't want it to be over. They don't want it to be over. Um, I feel like they've told you that nothing has happened. And this is only, you know, they have an issue with like wanting attention that's all it is it's just flirtations it's just like this and, and and this is true you know this is true this is somebody who is deeply insecure and so this is why they act this way they, they, they clearly there there's some kind of issue here they, 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 that's why they can't commit there's an issue um i don't know if they had a bad relationship early on in their life or I don't know maybe something happened in the home who the hell knows but um, there's some reason why they act out in this way and so they, they do require a lot of attention um, they seek it out you know maybe they they have a lot of um, contacts online um, I almost feel like they possibly even have, uh, what do you call it, online profiles, like dating site profiles. So they were caught somehow. You caught them, I, I, I'm feeling. But they pulled you back in. They, they don't want to let you go. They don't want to let this relationship go. And so now they're making all these promises but are they going to put the effort? Are they really going to change is the question. Mm. That's 
something flipped. Queen of Pentacles, Tell Reverse. Hmm. You saw the red flags way back when. But this person was able to, you know, convince you otherwise. They were able to fool you somehow with their sweet talking and their, their um, sexuality. They're very passionate. They're very, they're very sexy. They're a very sexy person. So they're very easily able to seduce people into doing whatever they want. And, and they definitely did that with you. Let's see the moon. You could be feeling very confused right now. But hmm, not for long. I mean, you know the truth. You know the truth now, but emotions definitely, even if you know the truth, emotions will muddy it up. Feel like you're not strong enough to leave them like your emotions are overpowering you seeing a, a temporary separation that's going to bring more clarity I feel like this is gonna really shake things up here in the near future so this could be you know maybe temporary this could be I don't know maybe even you taking a vacation a separate vacation or even just one of you moving out temporarily, I don't know. But this is like for in order to clear your mind. Yeah, I keep feeling like you know more than you're letting on. Maybe that's why you're, maybe that's why the temporary separation, because you, you, you might know something that this person doesn't know you know. And so you may want to just be away to see what this person does when you're, when you're not there. So I don't know if you're wanting to have this person watched. I feel like you have this plan to go head to head with them, but it's like they're gonna see your vindictiveness, your vindictive side. Hmm. Let's see what's happening around you that you don't see.
I do feel like this person is juggling. They, they, they tend to be a player. They, there's feelings. They have feelings for you, but they don't really know what they want. They're very, like, all over the place. They, again, make promises that they don't keep. If you've been in a long-term relationship, I I just, I would expect more than this. This to me is more so like a newer connection. So it just feels like underdeveloped. If this is long-term, especially if, you, if you're married to this person, this feels like underdeveloped to me. So if this is a fully, like, full-blown, or if you've been living with this person for years and years, and they're telling you they're in love with you, and I, I don't, I don't think so. They have feelings, but it just doesn't feel like, to me, it doesn't feel deep. It, it feels more... It feels like it should be more than what it is. Now, if you haven't been with this person for that long, then okay, but still, it's... They don't seem sure of themselves, and they could be in and out, they, you know... Let's see your advice, Two of Cups. advice is that love is out there for you I don't feel like it's here I feel like it's somewhere else I feel like I'm getting here, expand your vision. There's a need to expand your vision. Look on the horizon, move on, look elsewhere. It just doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like it, it's where you're looking. It's, it's not where you're at. So your overall outcome is the four of wands reverse. Nine of Swords reverse. Queen of Wands, Queen of uh, Pentacles, sorry. Ten of Wands. Let's do one more. Nine of Wands. Five of Cups. I feel like the situation is going to run its course. You know, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. It, it's just going to become burdensome, uh, tiresome, to the point where you're. It, it's just going to be so stressful, you're just going to get to the point where you just don't care anymore. You're just going to get tired. Um, and I, I just see it ending. You're going to put that burden down at, at some point. And yeah, there, there's, looks like you're going to release it because you're going to start to see the truth about this, about what it, what this truly represents here for you. Um, and 
who this person truly is. I feel like you're not on the same level. Not to say that you never will be. I mean, maybe this person just hasn't reached your level of maturity. Maybe they will at some point, but they're not quite there yet. Um, I don't know if you want to stick around and wait for them to catch up. <laughs> That's totally up to you. Um, but they're not there just yet. So let's see here. The love of your dragon reaches out to you. The realm of your truth is opening up. Yeah, I think you already know. You already know the truth. It's just a matter of um, wanting to see that, wanting to accept that truth. Let's see this. Uh, what's this called? The Untold Truth of the Heart Oracle. Let's see what comes out here. Word Capricorn. Okay, at the bottom we have longing. Whoops. All right, let's see what we got. We have upheaval, shock, the unexpected, trouble, infatuation, adoration, addiction, compulsion. We have that feminine energy that came out first. Beginning, new direction, fresh start, chance. Boundaries, no, drawing the line. Elusive, intangible, dishonest, tricky. That's that magician in reverse that we saw. Beauty, charming, graceful, luxurious. Conflicted, multiple choices, inconsistency, decisions. And the last card is better off, happiness, perspective, clear-headed space. Yeah, um, I feel like you guys had really great chemistry in the beginning. And you may have gotten entangled um, in something that you thought it was because they were very good at um, selling you what they thought you wanted. Okay, so maybe, maybe you told them everything that you wanted in a partner and they just went with it. <laughs> they, they did everything, they checked off all your boxes and um, you know, you, you, you bought it. And now you're starting to see that it, it was all kind of a lie. Um, and they are somebody who is dishonest and, and tricky. Um, they may be very charming, um, very attractive, very sexy, like I said. I, I, I do see that, but a lot of other people see that as well because I do feel like they have a lot of choices a lot of um, options out there and and they exercise those options so it's up to you to decide if that's something that you are willing to put up with because we can't control other people we can only control whether or not we accept that or accept them as they are or not and so that's up to you um, this can be a very vicious cycle of push and pull um, and it can be, it can turn into an addiction. So this is a chance that you have to either enter into this cycle over and over and over again, or just have a new beginning for yourself uh, and start anew. Because you are getting this clarity, this clear-headed space. You're giving, you're being given this chance by seeing 
the truth about this, no matter how painful it is, it's actually a gift, a blessing that is being given to you. So it's up to you how, what you want to do with that. All right, Capricorn. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.